all right so in this video i'm going to discuss how to um, add a youtube playlist using the youtube data api and um yep so I, this is an, an example ui i actually have a animation here so yeah um it, it's pretty simple uh, let me see yeah, so I guess first you'll need to enable the YouTube data API. And so if you click on this link, it will take you to the API library. And yeah, so you just need like um, a Google account, so like your Gmail. And then if you just search YouTube and click on YouTube data API version three, it'll take you, it will show this, the results, which will only have one result. Click on that and uh, it will say enable here. Since I already have it enabled, it says manage and it says API, API enabled. And then uh, you can click on this link to go to the credentials page. I think after you enable that, it takes you here. But if not, you can go back to this article and click on this link. Yeah, I'll leave the article in the description as well. So, um, yeah, once you click on that link, you'll on the page, you'll see create credentials. So you click that and click API key. And then it will give you an API key um, that we need to use um, in our API call. Um, yep. So next, if you go to, actually, I'll do the rest in the Flutter flow. Just so. Um, yep. So if you go to this tab, API calls, uh, click Add, then create API call. Then you can give it a name such as YouTube Data API and then give it this uh, API URL. I have this in the article, so you can just copy and paste that. You also need to add this header. Um, yep. And then after you add the header, um, add these variables. You can name these whatever you want. If these are um, just what you'll enter um, when you're, I guess, designing your page. So these kind of don't matter, but I have playlist ID and they're all, these are all strings. And so this is the ID from YouTube. Now the example URL, I'll show you. Um, API key and max results. So API key, of course, is the API key you just created. And then max results, I believe there's a limit of 50, but by default, I'll just have five. And I'll show you, um, so I, everything I discussed is right here as well, but Uh, I was going to show you the uh, URL so you know what playlist ID is. What the playlist ID is. Uh, okay, I mainly mentioned this before you add the playlist ID. So, yeah, I guess that I can go back to that in a minute. So, yeah, next, after you add the variables, you'll need to add the query parameters. And, um, yeah, these have to be playlist ID exactly like this in camel case key, which is API key and then max results. And I have these set from the variables uh, that we created here in the variables tab. So yeah, um, but yeah, they have to be this way because that's how they're defined in the playlist, the YouTube playlist API. So I don't know why that did that. So the YouTube data API. Um, actually, I'll update the link so it goes directly to the <laughs> example code or the example um, in the API, which is resource resource types. So it will be the list API. Yeah, here's an example, I guess, JSON response. We'll need this actually, so I'll copy this. I mean, Java, it doesn't matter. It's kind of the same. I'm just trying to find the list API.
Okay, here it is. So it's playlist list API. Yeah, and they show you what you need here as well. Um, but this is retrieving the playlist. Uh, retrieve information about a specific playlist. So it'll be this one. Uh, let's see. Let's click into this. So it's a get request. So, I mean, you don't have to read all of this, but <laughs> this, this gives you all of the options um, that you're at. Okay, yeah, a uh, token. So we can't do like the infinite scrolling on um, Flutterflow. Uh, even though they have, they give the option for paging. Uh, YouTube paging um, works a little different because it's the token. So uh, on Flutterflow, they expect it to be, I believe zero or I forget. I don't remember if it's uh, start at zero on Flutterflow, but yeah. But yeah, it's basically they increment the pages. So I'll just say zero, one, two, and three. I think stuff like that. Um, YouTube the API doesn't work like that. It's a random token. And so, yeah, that wouldn't work. Um, <laughs> so a better way to do that would be to like, I guess, manually add all of the data in like a database, like uh, Flutter or Firebase or Superbase. But really, you can still use this. Um, you can follow this tutorial um, to basically help you create that data. Instead, instead of like showing the video, you can use that to add. You can use this to add um, the data to your database. But yeah. Yep. Yep. So see match results. Uh, Right. Yep. Okay. So yeah, you just need to make sure it's playlist ID key and max results and query parameters. And then uh, if we go back to so after that, you'll just create your UI. So right here, I have I just made a simple UI. Yeah, you can't really, I mean, you can, but <laughs> you can make all of these YouTube players. Um, but the only thing with that is it will, it will, the performance won't be that good. So I'm just um, adding an image, which um, the API gives you a thumbnail. And I'm adding the title and the channel title. And so it's just a list view with a row. And yep. And so for the list view, I have a um I'm making the API call. So for the query type API call, this is the YouTube data API um we just created. And then the variables, playlist ID, API key, max results. Yep. And then uh next you'll click this, generate dynamic children, and that's what uh, adds these dynamic uh, rows based off this row and so yeah and so items you give it the name and so that's from the actual we go back to this so this is the response it will give you um, yeah when you're pulling the data basically is it this one Yeah, it's not showing, but basically the top level JSON object is called item. So yeah, we don't have to, I guess, we don't have to go, go deep into that. But um, yeah, you'll set this as dollar sign. So first you'll choose um, YouTube data API response, and then JSON body, JSON path, and then uh, it just um, deleted it with his dollar sign the items yep I could have clicked cancel but whatever and then on row you can set all of these to the different um, things in the snippet so so right here um, yeah I believe 
Let me see. So for the image, it's a thumbnail. See that I'm using default, but they have these other sizes here. And then I'm just using title and then channel. What is it? Channel title, which I don't see it here. But another way you can test it, you could just make the API call here. And so if you do test API call, you can see the data here as well. So channel title. So I'm using a, the flutter flow. I think I used a different one. This is just what I have in the test. But um, yeah. And so I'll show you. So on the image, I have it as snippet thumbnails, dollar sign dot snippet dot thumbnails dot default dot URL. And actually I need to show you. So you'll click item, items, items, which is where we create in the dynamic children of the list just now. So you click on that and then you'll just set the JSON path to that. So you do the same thing for these. The only thing that's different is the J or is the path here in the JSON. So dot dollar sign dot snippet dot title, dollar sign dot snippet dot channel dot title. These are all from the item item. So this yep. Yeah. And then next, so I have this whole um, row clickable. So when you um, uh, click on uh, any row, it navigates to the video player, which this is another UI I'll show you in a minute. But I'm passing the parameter, the string, and it's um, the same thing. So still items, items, but the path is different. I'm getting the video ID from the snippet. And then, yep. And I'll show you the video player. It's just it just has a YouTube um, player uh, widget video. Oh, okay. Let me show you. And so the page parameter it has is the string called video ID. And then for the um, URL, I just have this um, youtube.com slash watch slash watch. Uh, query, query parameter with the V equals and then video ID is the uh, page parameter. So um, yeah, it's just page parameter and then video ID. Uh, this is starting to freeze, but <laughs> okay. And then you just click confirm. I'll click cancel right there. Yep. And then, yep, that's it pretty much. But you can also, instead of showing it um, if you don't want to have an in-app uh, YouTube player, you can just, you'll do the same text combination, but on the action and homepage, you'll just, you just do a launch URL, I think it's share, launch URL, and then you'll just do the same text combination. I just messed all that up. But. <laughs> Yeah, and after you do that, you'll get this. So it's what I showed in the beginning. So it's just a playlist. You click it, the video will play. And yep, that's it.